Hello friends and welcome to my kitchen. Today we'll be reviewing Presto Salad Shooter. I know, I know. It's not a new product. It's been a long time ago since this thing came out. But just hear me, okay? I was looking for something that was compact enough that I can take with me when we go camping in the van. Uh, not too big. I have a uh, big... Um, food processor, but um, sometimes I get home, I want to cook something fast, shred something, and I just get lazy getting out the food processor and too much stuff to wash. And uh, so I found this. And it's really easy. It wasn't even that expensive, like $35, and it came with a slicer and the shredder, which we're both going to try today. And it's really simple. See, not a lot of parts that um to undo and everything dishwasher safe so yay of course when we go camping i don't have a dishwasher but this is i can all wash it's not a lot of parts so this is one of the reasons that i i got it for so now let's review it let's see how it does and um we're gonna start with lettuce i'm kind of really i don't think it's gonna work but it said in there that i could use the lettuce for lettuce so why not? Let's try it and see how it works. Okay, we'll start with some lettuce and then we'll move on to the next stuff. Now, this thing is noisy, though. I think it's going to be noisy. So, let's see. I'm putting the... I think I put too much. Hold on. Maybe just a couple. It might make juice. I don't know. I hope this works. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. What did we turn it on? Okay, I use romaine lettuce. Note to self, um, do not use romaine lettuce. Uh, because, yeah, I didn't think it would work, but in there said lettuce, so I figured I'd try it. But maybe a, uh, an iceberg lettuce, you know, you cut it the hunk and, uh, and that will work, the iceberg. But the romaine, man, doesn't work. So now what I'm gonna have to do, get this stuff out of here so that I can do the mushrooms and the other stuff. But that way you can see how easy it uh, comes apart. And, um, and we'll just move on to the next, to the next thing. So we're going to cut right here right now so I can clean this mess up and we'll be right back. Okay, friends, now that we've cleaned up the, the kind of the mess from the lettuce, we're going to try the mushrooms. Okay, let's see, maybe a small knife to cut this in half. Yeah, this is a big bit. Okay. Am I doing something wrong in here? It, I don't know. It just kind of, I had to press for it to come out and it obliterated. I mean, look at it. Uh, the mushroom is not look like that, but after you press it so that it goes down, I, Okay, I'm not going to press it too hard this time. We'll see. And it's supposed to shoot the stuff. On the video there that I saw on Amazon where I bought this, it, uh, they point the thing to your bowl or whatever you want the food to fall in. Um... Uh, 
let's see. No. I wouldn't do mushrooms. And this is the slicer. I would not do mushrooms with it. Uh, it's going to do this. And it's not good for the mushrooms. Okay, move on to the next thing because, let's see, we have this jalapeno. We'll put in there. And let's see how that works. Oops, wrong side. Okay, okay. That worked. It works really nice, to be honest. Not bad. Nice slice. You gotta think, I had it, it was already cut from because I used it earlier today. I didn't want it to go to waste, so I'm like, oh, we can try it. So, it's sliced. It, I guess it has to be, I don't know why they put mushrooms in there, because you have to really press for the the food to go down in, in sliced. And, like, as you can see with the mushroom, it's just, just not work. But hard enough with, like, with the jalapeno. Now we're going to try a, um, a carrot and see how that works. Just one because I need the other one shredded. So we'll try the shredder with the other one. So here we go. Oh, and you also have to make sure that you get everything out of it because I hadn't gotten all the jalapeno out of it. But it sliced it very nice. Look at that. It's not bad. I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay, good job for the slicer with the carrots. And I think it will work also with uh, zucchini. Or if you have butternut squash. You know, butternut squash would be a good, a good, uh, good idea to do the slice it for like a casserole. That'll be good. Uh, let's see now what we're gonna do next. We're going to use the shredder. And now let me show you. Like I said, one of the reasons I wanted to get it is because of how small and compact it is and how easy it is. It doesn't have a lot of parts to it. And all dishwasher safe. Oh, and just remember that when you do carrots, it is going to stain. There's no way around it. You're, it's gonna look brownish after you wash it, doesn't matter what you do, but the carrot stains everything. So, but see how easy and simple that is? I just can't get over that. And uh, like I said, when we go camping, oops, when we go camping, um, I wanted something small like this or, you know. So let's shred some more. Well, we're gonna shred nuts. I have walnuts here. And this one's, I wanna, have them in this and let's see how we do. Yeah. This thing is a little loud, a little noisy. Yes, yes, I'll give you that. But when it comes to grinding, I think you can also do, um, like if you get the blocks of the Parmesan cheese, you know, grated like that. Because, you know, it can be um, uh, pricey or whatever. Or sometimes you want to get the nice block of Parmesan cheese instead of getting the grated that comes in the plastic can. Um, you can do it just like this and it's really not bad at all. Fast. Okay, now let's shred some carrots for my salad. Okay, I'm gonna take out my lettuce because it didn't work on my lettuce, but I'll put my carrots in here. Let's see. It's supposed to work for shredders, so I'm I'm hopeful that this will work with this. Let's see. Okay, you guys, whoops, I undid it. I am 
pleasantly surprised. Look at that. Very nice. For shredding carrots, carrot cake, for a salad. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay. So I have to cut the lettuce later. Now we are going to shred some cheese and see how that works. With the carrot, well, should be okay. I'm gonna put it on the salad anyway. So. Oops, oops, we have to put the cheese there first. Okay, two, let's put three pieces. Especially for cheese because you know when you buy the already shredded cheese they put other starches and stuff so that it doesn't stick and whatever else um, and this way you have shredded cheese with nothing else added to it and for your salads your pizza whatever you want uh, quesadillas you name it it's great I like it let me finish shredding what I need it I don't know about you but I will give it a try I am gonna give it a try and like I said um, it's great for grating the carrots the cheese nuts um, I don't know uh, zucchini next thing I'm gonna probably try with it's just that I didn't have any zucchini uh, to try today but um, I think it's it's worth it. It comes with those two attachments and uh, radishes will be great or turnips to do potatoes for a casserole. Uh, that would be good. Um, anyway, well, that's the review. And let me know if you like it, if you don't like it. Any comments down below. And uh, if you like this, make sure you leave us a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.